Hi guys, it's Jay Kissa and welcome to my very first Friend Friday. So what Friend Friday is, I'm going to be doing a makeup either recreation or inspired look from an artist that I love and look up to. Um, this isn't always going to be a makeup artist, it's, it can be an artist of different mediums. So I'm excited to celebrate other art with you and to share some cool looks with you. So for today's Friend Friday, I'm recreating this look from Nina Blackwolf on Instagram. She's one of my closest friends. I call her my soul sister. Um, she's a really amazing artist. She's talented with hair and always rocks this beautiful kick-ass makeup. So if you want to see how to achieve this Nina Blackwolf inspired look, then let's get started. I'm going to start off by priming my lid with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I don't have all of the same products that Nina used, so we are going to be mixing a lot of colors to get the same effect. Mix Cupcake and Simply Marlena from Makeup Geek. If you are darker than me, you can just go in with Simply Marlena. I'm going to be applying this throughout the crease to get a nice transition for future shades to blend better. Take any matte hot pink eyeshadow. I'm using Dolly Pop from Sugar Pill. If you are darker, you can always mix in Love Plus. I'm using more of a dense crease brush to make sure the color goes exactly where I want it to in the crease. For my lid, I'm taking a medium pink eyeshadow. This one is from the Morphe 35U palette, and we're going to be packing this all over the lid. Moving on to the red liner, which is actually a liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors called Merlot. Make sure to be super careful when applying this. Nina didn't really carry her liner too far inwards, so I'm going to replicate that by just having the wing. While the lipstick is still a little bit damp, blend it out just a touch on the lower lash line as well as the upper lash line to make sure it blends effortlessly. With that same smudge brush, take Love Plus and apply that all over the lower lash line. Nina's lower lash line was blended out, so go ahead and blend it out until you get your desired effect. I noticed there was a darker maroon in the outer corner, so I'm going to be taking Bitten from Makeup Geek mixed with 2AM from Sugar Pill. And if you're darker, you can always omit using 2AM and just go in with Bitten. This part is completely optional. I'm going to be taking a red lip liner and applying that to the waterline. If you are sensitive, I would skip this step. For the inner corner highlight, choose something that has a pinkish undertone. For me, I'm going to be using Heartless Eyeshadow from Urban Decay. Time to curl our lashes and apply mascara. Nina didn't wear false lashes for this look, so I'm actually gonna skip false lashes for a change. Moving on to the face, I'm going to contour using the Kat Von D shade in light, and I'm using the coolest tone color to accentuate my cheekbones and make them look more defined. For my highlight, I'm actually going to use the same inner corner highlight from our eyes to make the eyes tie in with the cheeks. Nina had on a blush with some shimmer in it, so I'll be taking Damselfly by Becca and popping that on. Time for lips. Line your lips with a gray lip liner, but leave the center open. I'm using Wet from ColourPop, which is a great dupe for stone lip pencil by MAC. Now take any gray lipstick and go right over the lip liner. I chose stone lipstick by MAC for this, but you can use whatever lipstick you want. For the center of the mouth, apply a medium pink. I'm using Lovecraft Studded Kiss Lipstick from Kat Von D. And then once it's applied, smack your lips together to make it blend. Now that we have our lips done, the look is complete. Go ahead and finish all that hard work with the setting spray. All right, so here's the finished Nina Black Wolf recreation. And yes, that is her real last name. Is that not the coolest last name you've ever heard? Anyways, I hope you stick around and subscribe because we have a lot of fun Friend Fridays coming up. I'm so excited to share this series with you. And let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.